rolling. What up, YouTube? Hey, YouTube. We. It's just we, not us. Elena's working. But me and Dad are sitting here chilling. It's raining. We're stuck in the house. And we're going to do a tobacco review. I'm going to review uh, McClellan's Grey Havens. And I'll tell you what it is. It says, uh, a lightly fragrant... A lightly fragrant, burly, and matured Virginia blend. The rich taste of fine natural tobaccos, subtle, enhanced with a mellow and pleasing fragrance. Experience smooth burly flavor with a hint of Louisiana Perique. And I've been kind of getting into burleys lately, so uh, I have already uh, smoked one bowl of this the other day, and I liked it. And I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do it in a different pipe, make sure it stays consistent. Uh, I had it in my billiard P3. I'm going to do it in the P3 flu poker. And what are you going to review? I'm uh, reviewing this old Shannon, Shenandoah bootleg. Bootleg? This shit smells good. Um, it's not supposed to uh, bite. This says... Here's what this looks like. Old Shenandoah, uh, Shenandoah bootleg is a welcome addition to the series of wonderful aromic bite-free uh, pipe tobaccos. And, and it is. It's bite-free. Um, soft, nutty burleys are blended with a good portion of silky black Cavendish and uh, accented by the addition of some lemon Virginias. That's a new one. And the superb aroma comes from not too sweet a blend, um, a subtle fruit, and warm confectionery flavors. Well, goddamn, it sounds good. It, it it is very good. And any of you guys that get tongue bite, uh, I I recommend that. It's uh it's pretty good. Uh, these were gifted to us by the Uso Biome. He uh. Went on Pipes and Cigars, and you can't see it. Went on Pipes and Cigars and ordered it and had it sent to us. So, uh, Uso Biome, thanks again. Uh, first saw him on Instagram. He's on YouTube. And uh, speaking of Pipes and Cigars, I had an email today saying that they got 20% 20, 20 off your total shopping cart, I think, for 24 hours, something like that. So, uh, if you want to try it out, I guess check them out or check your local tobacconist, see if they've got these. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can get them anywhere. Um, all right, I'm going on the first light. Got my passion for smoke tamper. Oh, uh, let's see. Got my stitches out today. Jason took them out. Oh yeah, yeah. He uh, he got got his skin cancer cut last Wednesday, and Doctor hand wrote a note saying in seven days remove them. Today was the seventh day, so we did a a live periscope. Uh, video Elaine filmed it while I cut and pulled them out and some fucking lady on there was like It's too soon. You can't take them out yet. Shut the fuck up. We heal quick. You're fine It's just like a little scab. That's it She was going off on that damn periscope like lady chill out. It's just a cut, you know It'll heal if I would have split it open, you know taking those stitches out. I would just put a fucking drop of super glue in it There you go All right, got my my favorite little doggy here, Mr. Kane. Gonna give me a hug. You can definitely taste the uh, the burly Virginia mix in this, but it's good. Like they they go together really well. Hey. Must you must you do this? Must you do this? Hey, we're in a fucking video over here. Why am I getting this hug? Uh, let's see what else is going on. Uh, we got our sample shirts in for Nashville. Uh, we finally got our motorcycle tees and uh, specifically asked for longer sleeves. 
So when you're holding on to your bars, regardless if you got apes, your sleeves aren't going to fall down. You know, because most of my long sleeve shirts, by the time you're you're riding, your your sleeves only that long. So we got these specifically for uh, you know everybody that rides. It's a it's a good long t you know long sleeve t-shirt, and uh, we agreed to the print and everything. It's got the full rockers on the back and uh, nothing on the front. So they should be all done by September 9th and uh, we're bringing them to Nashville and it's going to be our shirt for the show. And uh, what else we got going on? We got bad internet problems right now. I don't know if you guys have Comcast or Xfinity, but it's not just us, but like the whole fucking world, I guess, is having problems with it. And we were supposed to have a technician come out today, check the box in the yard. No show, no call, no nothing. Uh, we pay for 100, I think it's MBPS. We're getting 8.7 right now. Thank you. And it's storming outside. Oh, shit, I just watched that go in slow motion. Well, I hate to say it, but we're not editing this shit out. We're just gonna fucking roll with it. This is what you get when you buy a fucking piece of shit tripod. Hey, can you see you? Yeah. How's that? <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can. Uh, let's see if we can do this again. Are we a little crooked? See if you can drop it again. All right. Hold on. Fucking robot shit. How's that? Mm. Is that better? Yeah. Are we crooked still? Yeah, just a little. Whoop oh, up. Oh, too much. How's that? Too much. Too much? Come down. Down. Just a tight row. Too much. Too much. This fucking thing. All right. Oh. oh. Yeah. There you go. All right. Yep. Not editing that. Um. <laughs> what was I saying? Yep. Not editing that. In case you wanted to see my forehead. <laughs> Don't knock the phone over. Uh, let's see. Uh, over the last weekend, a uh, good friend of mine, Scott Doris, uh, used to live here. We used to skate, ride bicycles, motorcycles, everything together. And then he moved back down to Naples, Florida. And him and his girlfriend came up this weekend, stayed with us. And we just had a nice, relaxing, chill time. We uh, we went went to Mermaid Juice where we had our, our uh, pipe event this uh past spring and uh if any of you guys have ever been with us and when we go out you know what happens well this is why we don't go out in our own town because the weirdest shit always happens fucking we go to the bar we sit down i'm drinking root beer and uh this fucking crazy lady comes in comes in is all over him Looks at me, and she's like, oh, I like your beard. Looks at me, I fucking hate you. Just starts going off. And I have this all on film. Like, I just started recording her and put the phone down. And uh, just the shit that came out of her mouth, pretty much they called the cops and got her the fuck out of there. But it, that's the short story, and it was entertaining. It's got a, um, a light cherry taste i guess it's a fruity taste by the print on the box but uh, in my Wagner shot glass poker i'd say uh for you guys that uh smoke cigarettes or roll your own in between pipes you know i vape in between pipes strictly for a nicotine hit uh this is a good one i mean uh it's got a similar Kind of cigarette inhale flavor, but better. Uh, I would I would inhale this daily than a cigarette. You could probably roll your own with this, but um, if you know how, <laughs> I'm, try, I'm trying to pinpoint the flavor. It's it stands out. It's different, but I like it. It's it's uh, it's not too heavy. It's it's a medium. More on a little bit of a mild side, but it's smooth. Uh, not hot at all. No tongue bite. Uh, just a good, 
clean tobacco. And basically, that's how I could put it. Just a, a pure, clean tobacco. Not sure I ever had uh, Lemon Virginia. That's what they say is in here. But it's um, it's pretty darn good. The other one that I've been smoking is this. Uh, we'll, we'll try to do a review on this one, too. I mean, I can give you a basic of it. But this uh, Abacus from Colt. He swears by the uh, the Blood Moon, the cherry, but I'll tell you what, this one uh, is really good. I mean, uh, it's it's a uh, uh, I guess they classify it as an aromatic, but I would I would call it more of a crossover aromatic. Uh, it's it's a little bit on the lighter arrow side, but good flavor, no tongue bite, no wet goopiness. Great with morning coffee. I mean, fucking really good. Um, I've been enjoying this. Matter of fact, uh, I'll probably order some of this tonight with that 20% discount that they're offering on pipes and cigars. I'm going to get uh, a couple of these and probably a couple of these. And what else was like? You don't need cult, do you? You got plenty? Um, I might have to might get some bulk. I've got eight cans of it. Elaine's going to do a review on this, uh, W.R. Larson, 2015. Uh, she's just uh, working a lot right now. So uh, when she gets time, somebody asked if she quit the briar. She hasn't. She just uh, she likes to enjoy the pipe on her terms, not because we're doing a YouTube video. We just sit here and pipe all day, so it's no big deal for us. But, you know... Normally when we do a video, she's just coming home from work. Uh, she likes to chill and relax. and um, You know, I think she's more of a morning uh, with coffee. Pipette? I don't know what you call her. Pipe mistress? Pipette sounds pretty good. <laughs> but uh, she has not given up, and she's going to do a review on that one. Ain't got time for that shit. A fucking Bic lights every time. Oh, uh, see, other than that, we got anything new we can tell them? Got our uh, Summer Swamp Pipe Meetup this weekend. Yeah. Uh, just talked to Matt Van Pipes, getting everything on schedule. Uh, we're just looking to hang and just have a good time. And I said this in the last video, we're, we don't plan on bringing anything. We're just bringing ourselves and a couple pipes and some tobacco to chill and hang out with. Uh, but if you do want something from us, send us an email. And uh, what you want, we'll bring it, and uh, you can just get it from there. You won't have to pay shipping or none of that shit. Um, but we really don't want to bring anything. We just want to have a day to hang out and have fun and chill. With other Floridian Pipers. And uh, I believe uh, TobaccoPipes.com is going to be there. Those guys are coming to hang out. Um, it, sh it should be really fun. I'm, I'm hoping we don't get fucking flooded out by this rain. I was going to the skate park at 6.30 tonight. 6 o'clock, we were out in the garage doing some bike shit, and it looked like it was coming. I text my friend that lives by the park. He's like, I don't know. Fucking 10 minutes later, monsooning. But it's okay. Getting ready for my trip in uh, September. That's going to be awesome. So... You know, trying to puff this hard and get it hot, it's still not getting hot. Um, it does. I do get a little bit more richer flavor, though, which I'm liking. Um, man, I was going to go into some dental tips. I just went to the dentist yesterday and got my, got my teeth cleaned that my insurance company wouldn't pay for. Uh, that's another uh, rant video I could do about United Healthcare. Uh, that and uh, Comcast Internet, I could go on for an hour bitching about those two motherfuckers. But I uh, told my dentist, you know, how I do my routine. I uh, water pick, then I brush, water pick. And he was like, yeah, pipe smoking's not affecting your teeth. Keep on doing it. Sarge. Hmm. Thank you. All right, we got about 30 seconds left, so... Uh, you know, it's probably not the review that you're looking for. We're pretty much just straight to the point. If we like it, we're going to fucking buy it. So, um, I'd buy this. Uh, I'll be ordering both of them here and in a little bit. Anybody that has trouble with uh, tongue bite, oh, why would we gotta uh, go.
I'd get it. Uso Bayam, thank you for sending us the samples, yes, and sir. we'll see you guys soon. Adios, amigos. Bye.